this lesson is going to cover lymphoma. Now, this is very similar to leukemia and that they're both cancers affecting the white blood cells, but we want to help you differentiate and break down the difference between the two. Where leukemia is a cancer of the bone marrow affecting all white blood cells, lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system, and it primarily affects the lymphocytes only. Now remember that the purpose of the lymphatic system is to participate in our immune system. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. These green uh, nodes and vessels that you see throughout the body, these are our lymph nodes and that is our lymphatic system and it helps circulate white blood cells around the body, especially for any kind of immune response that we need to fight infections or clean up any dead cells. So it helps bring toxins and waste products to the liver or to the spleen for processing. So it's basically the cleanup crew of our body. So when our lymphatic system is affected and it's cancerous, it no longer functions properly. Therefore, our immune response is severely impaired. Now, there are many, many types, but they fit into two umbrella categories. So Hodgkin's lymphoma or non-Hodgkin's type lymphomas. The way that we tell is that they will look under a microscope and see if they see a type of cells called Reed Sternberg cells. If they see Reed Sternberg cells, that is Hodgkin's type lymphoma. If they don't, then it's non-Hodgkin's type lymphoma. Just know that, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma is actually a little bit more treatable and tends to be a little bit less severe at diagnosis than a non-Hodgkin's type lymphoma. Tumors are gonna form in and around the lymph nodes. And this is a good example here of a tumor that has formed around a lymph node. So you can already see how not only is there gonna be an issue with function, but you may even be able to feel this growth on some of those more superficial lymph nodes. Also remember that the lymphatic system travels throughout the body. So these cancer cells can also travel through the lymphatic system to anywhere in the body, or they just exist potentially within the lymphatic circulation. So to diagnose lymphoma, we have to take a biopsy of the lymph nodes so that we can get a comparison, see if anything's spreading. Hey guys, Todd from nursing.com here. Let us know what topics you'd like to see videos on in the comments section below and we will review those as we plan new content. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.